What's up, guys? Welcome back to Shadowrun Dragonfall. We finished talking with everyone last time. We have found out some information that the Fishwingy is back, the Firewing, the dragon uh, that did so much damage all those years ago. And that place where we went and met that weird orc chieftain guy, that was probably hilarious. Okay, cool. So we're going to go literally down the rabbit hole, I think, is the deal now. We're going to go see Alice. Is that the mission? Let me just double check the mission. Take the U-Bahn to meet Alice. Um, okay, fine. We'll do that. Let's head out. Oh, oh, I thought that was Babaiga's head then. I was going to go talk to her, but it's not. It's just Dante. Right, let's head over this way. And we'll go see what we're going to find. Uh, over there. I don't know if these guys get like updated conversations, but I'm guessing they don't. So I'm not going to continue going around talking to literally everyone. There's a guy like popping in and out of existence there. That's a bit weird. Um, but yeah, if you guys know something that I might potentially miss, like if you like, oh, go back and talk to so-and-so because if something changes, then just tell me in the comments and we'll do it. Um, right, the u station, which is a little bit noisy down here. But let's get on the uh, the old train. And let's go pay Alice a visit. We shall uh, follow the white rabbit, just like Neo. Looks like there's something over there for us to go investigate. Arcade machine. We're going to very stealthily just do it from the side so we're not like right up in its face. The only active console in this derelict span of U-Bahn platform is an old video arcade machine. The CRT monitor set into the machine's cabinet glows invitingly. Cheerful pixelated graphics swirl and dance on the screen. Oh, I hope it's Pac-Man. Or Space Invaders. At the base of the controller panel you'll find a cleverly hidden input port. The port is shrouded in black plastic and it appears to be the approximate shape of a typical cred stick. Oh, we don't get to play Pac-Man guys. Internal motors grip the cred stick and pull it into the machine. It disappears into the port and the screen goes black. Moments later, a video image fills the screen. The picture is dark and grainy, a far cry from the bright, colourful sprites that previously inhabited the display. On the screen is a dimly lit office. The place looks like it was pulled straight from an old detective movie. Cool! From the Venetian blinds on the windows to the great swathes of shadow that paint the walls black. Swathes or swabs? Swathes, I think. Center stage, sitting behind a large mahogany desk, tasteful, is the silhouette of an impressive looking woman in a charcoal grey suit and the tip of a cigarette glows cherry red in the shadows. She leans forward into the light and you catch your first glimpse of Alice. Oh, that was totally not what I was expecting. <laughs> Holy shit. Her face is all hard planes and sculpted angles, with high cheekbones and almond eyes. Uh, I've never seen any sort of blue almonds. <laughs> Her lips are painted a frigid blue. It's kind of green, but okay. But the look in her eyes is even colder. A head of lustrous black hair is interspersed with flowing streams of cyan light. So that's quite cool. Alice exhales a plume of smoke, then tips her cigarette into a nearby ashtray. She fixes her eyes on you, and her lips curl into a humorless smile. We're on your dime, friend. Tell me what you're looking for. Uh, I need to find someone for me. That's Agent Vauclair. She raises an eyebrow. The Dragon Slayer. Interesting. He's been missing for a long time. Uh. Yes, he has. The question is, can you find him? She looks you in the eye and the smile disappears. Her voice is all business. If he's out there somewhere, I'll find him for you. He could be living under an assumed name in California Free State and I'd still track him down. And if he's not alive, I'll tell you where you can find his corpse. Nice. Ooh, ooh, oh, that's really cool. I wish we had decking. Oh man, we should have played as a decker. Wow. Oh, that looks like such a cool super secret option. Alice steeples her fingers. All right, here's how this is going to work. When you give me the go ahead, I'm going to start gathering information for you. Once I've finished, you're going to bring me a cred stick encoded with an encryption key that I'll provide you. That cred stick will have 50,000 new yen on it. When I get my cred stick, you get your information. This is the deal. Take it or leave it. <sighs> Price gouging, eh? 
50,000 new yen. We're going to try and just see what she says there. Apparently I know better than you do, sport. Do you know how much work it takes to find a digital ghost? There's going to be wet work, breaking into government archives. Hell, I might even have to commission an expedition into the socks. This is a serious undertaking, friend. Now, do we have a deal, or don't we? Alright, it's a deal, fine. Okay, but remember, you say go, and I go. From that point on, you're on the hook to pay my fee. No turning back, no refunds. Are we square on this? Yeah, we're square. Good, I'll be in touch. The screen goes black. Moments later, the machine reboots. The colourful sprites that you saw when you first approached the arcade cabinet return. There's nothing more to see here. Alice is gone. Dun 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 dun! And now we instantly head straight back. Wow. So this whole station is just, uh, just to set you up to meet Alice. How very, uh... Uh, oh, since I'm very Matrixy, it reminded me of just that bit in the Matrix where Neo is sort of stuck. Where are you going, friend? You just stay in there. Oh, she's just on a standard walk back and forth patrol route. Interesting. Okay, let's head back and tell the dudes what we know. Hi, Blitz. Bye, Blitz. Gonna head all the way to port. It takes ages for the line of sight to actually load in. It's a little bit weird, but never mind. Oh uh, God, it's Paul Amsel. Slick, did you make contact with Alice? Yes, I did. She accepted your payment, and I ordered the search for the information. Very good. I can't imagine that this will be cheap. What was Alice's stated price? Fifty thousand new yen. He shrugs. It is about as I expected. Thankfully, we are prepared for this. I have established contacts with a number of new clients. You can find information on the jobs logged on your mission computer. One jobs file is on there already. While you're working to earn Alice's fee, bleh, Alice's fee, I will continue to dig for clues about Fishwinky. If she is in fact roosting under the half held manor, then there must be some evidence to support that fact. A dragon is a large thing to hide, after all. Be careful, son. I will never forget. Don't worry, Slick, I'm going to conduct my investigation the old-fashioned way through contacts and deduction and careful observation. I want to jack into the Matrix. Ah, Matrix. Until this entire sorry episode is finished. Ugh, I that. Took me a while to spit that sentence out. Speaking of doing things the old-fashioned way, Marlitz is working to recover information off of those other DVDs. It's a painstaking process and it will not be quick, but she's optimistic that she'll be successful in time. Finally, I've been checking up on our friend, the orc with the skin grafts. I haven't heard anything back yet, so I'll keep you appraised as the situation develops. One last thing before you go, Slick. Samuel Beckenbauer wanted me to pass a message to you. Do you know him? The orc who runs the shelter across the way. Yeah, we've met. Ah, well, he has a job for you. Ah, he wouldn't discuss it with me, but he promised that it would prove worth your time. I'll keep it in mind. Uh, let's go see him now, then. And while we're at it, before we actually take any jobs, um, we were gonna we were gonna look at some stuff, weren't we? We had some optional dubris, so we want to head to the clinic and the drug guy, and I'm pretty sure somebody else as well. That's Samuel Beckenbauer, I think. But uh, where was Druggy McDrugface? Is he down here somewhere? Is that him, Zach Flash? Hey, Zach. I've got a formula for jazz, son. Any good? Oh, you know I'm your man. I can hook you up right now. Um, show me what you've got. Oh, so now, now that we've given him the thing, he can just make the jazz for us. Okay, fine. We don't actually want any drugs, but thanks. Uh, let's also nip in here the triage cyber clinic because we had a, a recipe for this guy as well Dr. Xavier Esquibel Welcome back. What can I do for you my friend? Schematic auto injector hyper Hmm very nice this design appears to be simple enough. Yes, I should be able to provide you with this It won't be cheap though Let's have a look 
Maybe we should get some cyberware. How much have we got? Two and a half thousand. Ooh, it's expensive. What do these do, though? Oh, a data jacket and an eye. That's 3% to hit. We don't need an increased hit chance. Uh, we could get armor or body upgrades. And 6 HP. Uh, cyber legs. 8 HP and 1 quickness. Oh, and that's the same ones. Okay. Uh, we're okay for now. We're already pretty decently combated. I think it would be quite cool to play a deco in this and then get loads of cyber upgrades. I bet that'd be pretty fucking sweet. Um, but we've gone pretty combat heavy anyway, just to make it a little bit easy on us. So I don't have to, like, restart and do things over and over. Um, let's go see Samuel What's-His-Face, Beckenbauer, and see what he's got for us. Hello again, my friend. What can I do for you? I uh, heard that you want to talk about a job. Yes, yes, I do. Thank you for coming so promptly. He takes a deep breath, slowly releases it, and looks you in the eye. Tell me, what do you know about the Humanist Poly Club? Uh, not a lot, actually. Give me, give me the uh, exposition, my friend. Humanists may call itself a poly club, but its goals are anything but political. The organization's true objective is to spread fear and hatred of the meta human races. Humanists, 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 their god, that's really hard to say. Humanists' bloody rhetoric helped to instigate the Night of Rage. Night of Rage? A worldwide race riot that took place in February of 2039. Thousands of innocent meta humans were attacked, beaten, and killed. Women and children were corralled into warehouses for protection and then burned alive when the structures were put to the torch. This is what humanist stands for. This is the agenda that its leaders strive to advance. They will not be satisfied until all meta humans everywhere are driven from the face of the earth. Disgusting. Let's tell me so there's something to do with them. He nods. Yesterday I overheard one of my assistants talking on his calm. He was yelling, clearly agitated. I questioned him, and when he confided in me, what he told me made my blood run cold. What did he tell you? His brother Tuck works for a smuggling operation based in Shatternest. Apparently, these smugglers have accepted a contract from Volker Stahl. Stahl is a vicious ideologue and the leader of the Berlin chapter of Humanis. The cargo that the smugglers are delivering includes a large quantity of an extremely hazardous chemical agent. Naturally, this fills me with unease. Whatever style has planned, it can't be good for us. I want you to infiltrate the smuggling operation that is delivering the shipment. Once you arrive at the humanist compound, you will find out what they plan to do with the chemical and put a stop to it. Uh, yes, that's good. good idea. What makes you think they'll talk to me? I'm no more human than you are. Many of the smugglers are metahumans. If you travel with them, Humanus will allow you into their compound. The rest will be up to you. Why would they deal with a metahuman run operation? Presumably because they're the best option available. Stahl is nothing if not a pragmatist. He will work with metahumans when it suits him to do so. When it's finished with them, he'll discard them and move on. Would it be easy just to hijack the shipment? He shakes his head. No stopping the shipment would not stop Humanus, they would merely acquire another. For a pack of snarling racists, they're extremely well funded. Okay, how much? I have contacted sister organizations across Berlin and taken up a collection. Between us, we have raised 22,000 new yen as payments. I trust that this will be sufficient. Or oh, we could get more money out of him for being a socialite. Let's try it. He lets out a deep sigh. You're wrong about my organization. I keep nothing for myself. Nothing. But I will see what I can do. I might be able to call in some favors and raise you another 500. Okay, yeah. Sweet. <laughs> Extra 500. Nice. So, 22 and a half out of... How much did we need? 50,000 for Alice. That would put us nearly halfway there. I like it. He nods, excellent, I'm relieved. I'll make the arrangements for your meeting with the smugglers. Their leader is an elf who calls himself Maxim. Take the U-Barn to Shatternest and you will find him waiting there. Best of luck to you, Slick, and good hunting. 
Know that you are doing a great thing for the messy humans of Berlin. Your efforts will not go unrecognized. Okay, fine, let's do it. YOLO. I'm in. Oh, look, Dietrich's waiting for us. A lone figure stands in the U-Bahn station. Dietrich? He raises a bottle at your approach, then tosses it away. Think that went into you here, boss. Just wanted to be sure that I caught it before you headed off. He takes a deep breath, then slowly releases it, looks you in the eye. Slick, we need to have a talk about this humanist gig. Go ahead. Well, I've got history with Humanis. I fought him back in 39 during the Night of Rage. Hell of a thing that was. I remember the terror, the senseless violence, the murdered children. I remember this little dwarf boy. They stuffed his body in the gutter, Slick. and still see his face all bruised and broken. To this day, it makes my blood boil. Anyway, long story short, we beat him. Berlin's punks and anarchists all came together and we stomped the living dreck out of those racist pigs. A lot of good people died that night, but we put down some of the bad ones too. You want to come with me? That's part of it, sure. It's not the whole story. I just don't want to come on this run, boss. I, I have to come. It's my nephew, Alexander. He signed on with Humanis, driven to it by his worthless sack of a dad, no doubt. Is he Humanis as well? Nah, that'll take a level of conviction and quality that he thoroughly lacks. My best guess is that he's treating Humanis as a boarding school. They feed and house their recruits and that's the money he'd rather spend on himself. So he dumped his boy off on them and never mind the fact that they're fascist swine. Dietrich looks you in the eye. I've got to get Alexander out of there slick before it's too late. Those monsters are experts at warping young minds. It's how their disgusting ideology propagates. So I'm asking you as a personal favour to let me come along on the run. Well, I was going to take the whole fucking team, Dietrich. I wasn't planning on going alone. I have to find Alexander. I have to turn him around before those animals make him do something unforgivable. <laughs> Hell yeah, Dietrich. Come along. Thanks, boss. Never doubt you'd bring me, of course. You're too good a man for that. But it's good to wear it all the same. I was hoping everyone would come with us, Dietrich. Assemble the team. Yes. I would like to assemble the team and go to Schotten Nest. In addition to your team, your fix has access to a small network of mercenaries in the Berlin area. These runners appear below your core team on the runner selection screen and can be hired on a mission to mission basis. As you complete missions, both your team members and the available mercenaries will periodically gain access to new equipment and abilities. Any new items, spells, weapons, or weapon abilities that runner gains will automatically be available for use next time you take them on a mission. Weird. Why is that a thing then? Lucky Strike. Like the cigarettes. I used to smoke Lucky Strike years ago. Good, good smokes. Pumelo, Nixie, Alna, Okano, and then our boys. Well, we're taking our boys. We're going to take three dudes, though. Shit. Well, we said we'd take Dietrich. Have I got Dietrich? Yeah. So we have to take Dietrich. Um... I feel like a Decca could be handy. Because Decca. And then it's between Iger and Glory. Now, I mean, Iger's got some nice skills and stuff, but I'm pretty capable with the old guns myself. So I feel like maybe our medic would be of more use to us. So we're taking Glory with us. She's pretty tanky. She's got some skills. A load of med kits. We're gonna do it. We're about to travel to the Shatter Nest. Let's go. Oh shit. It's not fun just being able to take just a very small group. I thought we'd just be able to take the whole team everywhere. I didn't realise it was gonna make us choose. Bolt's flag. The U-Bahn rattles to a halt at the edge of Kluzberg. You're only a few blocks away from the Shatter Nest, the Kiev's that Maxim and his smugglers call home. According to Samuel, they should be expecting you. Great. Kluzberg. And the Shatter Nest. I wonder what it's going to be. What's it going to be like? Is it like a slum area? Is that where we're going? It looks sort of slummy, doesn't it? Uh, ah, we can equip people from here. Let's give... What have we got? He's got Nerve Bolt as a weapon now. That's pretty cool. 
got an advanced drone repair kit. Right. Glory's got a bunch of med kits. That's great. What's this? A flashbang. Uh, uh, do we want to give her some jazz? No. She can keep the flashbang. What have I got? Two med kits and nade and two trauma kits. That's pretty good, I feel. I think I'll be fine with that. Right, Dietrich then. Dietrich's got fuck all, so we're going to give him one of the advanced med kits. Uh, we're also going to give him some jazz. And. He can probably benefit from the bliss as well, I think. And then you. Uh, let's give you the nade. And that will do, I think. What's that? Cram. Oh, nice. Okay. That looks good. We've, we've given out some equipment. Feel like we're fairly well prepared. Look, boss, I just wanted to thank you for bringing me along on this one. It means a lot. Um. Yeah, don't sweat it. Even Shadow Runners have families. He nods. That Xander is a good kid, you know. If I'd been there for him, if I hadn't run off to Berlin, left him with his worthless sack of a dad, he'd never have fallen in with those humanist pigs in the first place. The expression on Dietrich's face softens and he claps you on the shoulder. Let's go find my nephew, and let's crack all the humanity skulls we can along the way. Those fuckers have it coming in more ways than I can count. Excellent. Well, we are going to do that. I can already see a Kiev's gatekeeper over there. A phone booth, a food cart vendor. In fact, let's, let's do the food cart vendor in the phone booth before I completely call the episode. So we've got a little bit of time. We've got a minute or two. Food cart vendor. A matronly woman with a round face and kind eyes greets you. Her apron is caked with what looks like about a year's worth of grease. Guten Tag, what can I get you? <laughs> that depends, what do you have? Well, today we have a soya based curry verse for 5 new yen, or a soup and sandwich combo for 10. Good, simple, stick to your ribs food. Perfect for a cold day like this. Uh, I'll have a curry verse. She ends you a dripping yellowish sausage wrapped in a paper napkin. You take a big bite and immediately regret it. There's a funk to this thing and no amount of curry powder could mask. Your stomach lurches and you idly wonder whether the decision is going to come back to haunt you later. Wow. That was awful, lady. What the hell? What kind of place am I running? Why don't you look around and tell me? Yeah, that's right. My business is a run-down sausage car on a filthy street corner. If you're expecting fine dining, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, fair enough. You've got a point. Oh, wow. As if you can get the fucking soup afterwards. Now, do you want to try something else? A soup and sandwich, maybe, to wash the taste of the curry verse out of your mouth? I'll have to charge your phone, but if you don't like it, I'll give you your money back. No. The smile on her face is not reflected in her eyes. Good day to you, then. Come back any time. Ah, uh, why did we do it? I'm going to have the shits later now. It was a bad sausage. I ate a bad sausage, guys. Who would have thought? that you could even get such a thing as a bad sausage in the future. Sad. Searching the dead job, you find a package with the telltale markings of the Schockwellenreiter. Ari Humanis. This is an open request for information on current and past owners of the Humanis Poly Club. Identifying information such as home addresses and photographs is preferred. The presence of this hate group and its supporters will no longer be, no, 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 will no longer be tolerated within our community. We will expose them on the harsh light of the truth. The time we deliver this information will be well rewarded. Freedom, equality, information. Shuck writer. So that's our side mission. Yeah, find the Humanis donor list for extra bonus points. What is that thing? Let's, uh, let's just pan the camera over. We, I'd say we have to fight our way past it, but oh my god. It's got like a... Um... Man, that's awful. <laughs> I feel like I've seen this in something else, but yeah, oh my god, freaky. Uh, right, well, that's it for today, guys. That's where I'm going to save it, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.